Recently, a tourist from China who claimed to have traveled to the United States shared a video saying that the U.S. dollar bills she got from the Bank of China turned out to be counterfeit when she tried to use them in the U.S. I was so excited to visit the United States, and I made a point of going to the Bank of China to exchange my money for U.S. dollars before leaving. However, when I was out spending money today, I encountered a highly embarrassing situation. The cashier informed me that my dollars were fake. How can we tell if they're fake? This dollar bill has a mark by the counterfeit detection pen in the middle, which cannot leave any mark on real bills, let alone coloured marks. I initially refused to believe it, saying that my money was exchanged at Bank of China, so how could it be fake? The cashier then explained that they normally wouldn't use the detector pen on the bills. Instead, they would check the number 100 text printed on the bottom right corner. Real US dollars only have a slight embossment, but the number on this fake bill looks a lot more embossed. In the video, the lady is seen holding two $100 bills, both of which are versions published before 2009. In one of the counterfeit bills, multiple signs of being a fake note are visible on the front. I'm very angry about this because I trusted Bank of China. Shouldn't the bank's management check the authenticity of this money for us? It's not just embarrassing for me to travel abroad and spend counterfeit money I got from someone else. I think it also brings bad reputation to the Chinese people. The US dollar is the official currency of the United States and the only universally accepted currency for transactions worldwide. However, what this lady did not know is that this is not the first incident of counterfeit US dollars being dispensed by Bank of China, nor is she the first person to be caught using counterfeit US dollars abroad. A similar incident occurred in 2016. At that time, a company in Wuhan organized a trip for 22 employees to Dubai, where four of them were investigated by local police. It was because a duty-free shop at the airport discovered they were using counterfeit US dollar bills. It was found that among the $100 bills they possessed, 28 were counterfeit, According to one of the involved individuals under the pseudonym Yang Yu, he and his colleagues exchanged the US dollars at a domestic bank before their trip and were unaware that they were counterfeit. Subsequently, their passports were confiscated and the four were temporarily detained by the police. This seemingly unbelievable situation has led to speculation about the Chinese government's true intentions, with some people suggesting there might be a more sinister motive at play beyond what initially meets the eye. Some people speculate that the reason for the Chinese government issuing counterfeit dollars is to deal with the demand for the US dollar. Someone from Anhui commented that in 2020, he exchanged 3,000 US dollars at a bank, only to be told by the bank staff that this money could not be spent. He was advised to exchange it back into the Chinese Yuan for domestic use and was warned not to use it abroad or deposit in foreign banks. He was shocked by this, but the bank staff did not provide an explanation. Furthermore, it is speculated that issuing counterfeit US dollars could, to some extent, alleviate the emergency situation of China's foreign currency reserves amid the country's economic downturn. Data from China's State Administration of Foreign Exchange shows that by the end of September last year, China's foreign exchange reserves had fallen to 3 trillion US dollars. This is a decrease of $45 billion, or 1.42% from August, marking the second consecutive month of decline and the largest drop in seven months. Previously, a report by China Business Network highlighted that banks in major cities, including the Bank of China, China Construction Bank, and China Merchants Bank, have significant volumes of foreign currency transactions for residents. These banks generally require at least a two-day advance reservation for single transactions exceeding 5,000 US dollars in foreign currency. Due to the increase in reservation demands, some banks have even started requiring appointments for withdrawals exceeding 1,000 US dollars. What's more pressing for the Chinese government is that despite years of stagnant growth in foreign exchange reserves, external debt has continued to increase. Professor Cheng Ping Cheng is from the Department of Finance at Yuling University of Science and Technology in Taiwan. He points out that while the CCP's foreign exchange reserves may seem substantial at first glance, the outlook becomes less optimistic when considering the scale of external debt. The rate of increase in China's foreign exchange reserves has not maintained its upward trajectory as in the past and has even shown signs of decrease. 
while the absolute figures of 3.1 trillion US dollars and 3.2 trillion dollars in 2023 still perform well on a global scale, the more significant issue is a rapid accumulation of debt. Compared to the past, China's economy is trending downward. At the end of June last year, China's external debt balance was $2.4 trillion. Thus, the net foreign exchange reserves amount to just over $680 billion, accounting only for government, bank, and corporate foreign loans. Although these investments are not debts, they still require foreign currency to pay for foreign companies' withdrawals and profit repatriations. In recent years, Western countries, including Europe and America, have sought to de-risk by reducing trade volume with China. In the first six months of 2023, the proportion of Chinese goods imported into the U.S. dropped to its lowest level in 20 years. According to estimates by Goldman Sachs, China's capital outflow reached $75 billion in September, the highest level since 2016. An economist based in the United States named David Huang believes that if there's no improvement in exports to Europe and American countries, it will have a significant negative impact on China's foreign exchange reserves in the long run. Thus, printing counterfeit U.S. dollars appears to be one of China's strategies. However, experts also warn that beyond immediate concerns, introducing counterfeit U.S. dollars into the market through central bank settlements could directly undermine the United States and cause global financial turmoil. This is the ultimate goal of the Chinese government. According to the New York Post, in 2021, President Biden made a startling statement during a visit to a military base in Virginia, saying that the United States is caught in a struggle between democracies and autocracies. This is because Xi Jinping had previously stated that Beijing would own the United States by 2030 or 2035. Experts have a specific interpretation for this. When Xi Jinping proposed building a community with a shared future for mankind, it was actually a signal of China's ambition to dominate the world. However, to achieve world dominance, the first step would be to undermine the United States, and to do so, it is crucial to erode the credibility of the U.S. dollar and replace its global status. Since World War II, the United States has maintained a dominant global position due to its five treasures. The military, with the U.S. armed forces, finance, with the U.S. dollar, multinational corporations in manufacturing and services, and technology and education, or the culture. To undermine the United States, China must target these areas, with the U.S. dollar being the core support for the military, multinational corporations, technology, and education. On May 18, 2021, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection reported that within just three days, from May 15 to the 17th, Officials intercepted 24 packages containing counterfeit U.S. currency, totaling 685,000 U.S. dollars. Originating from China and destined for various cities in the United States, including Illinois and Indiana, the packages contained counterfeit bills of $5, $10, $20, $50, and $100. In April 2021, the CBP officials in Chicago announced the seizure of more than a hundred shipments of counterfeit U.S. bills, almost all from China, valued at over $1.64 million. And on March 19th, CBP at Los Angeles International Airport intercepted a package containing over $110,000 in counterfeit U.S. bills shipped from Hong Kong to Northern California. On June 9th, 2020, the CBP seized another batch of counterfeit U.S. $100 bills from China, with a total value of $351,000. This seizure occurred at a courier company operating in Milwaukee, with a shipment originating from Shanghai. On May 13th, CBP officials in Cincinnati also discovered a shipment of counterfeit $100 bills valued at over $250,000, which was sent from Shenzhen, China. X-ray inspection suggested that the presence of counterfeit bills and upon opening the packages, officials found the counterfeit bills in 25 plastic bags. The bills appeared to be printed on ordinary paper with advanced printers, with each bill bearing the same serial number and Chinese characters on the reverse side. On December 14, 2019, customs officials at the International Falls Port in Minnesota discovered 45 suspicious cardboard boxes within a shipping container. Upon further inspection, 
These boxes were found to contain $900,000 worth of counterfeit $1 bills, all shipped from China. In summary, a Google search for Chinese counterfeit US dollars yields over 5.3 million related entries, and the majority of these counterfeit dollars originate from China. However, it's worth pondering that if China were to transport counterfeit dollars to the United States, courier packages would not be the only channel used, there would likely be many others. The amounts seized as reported do not represent the total volume of counterfeit bills. So, how much has not been caught? Additionally, the practice of printing counterfeit US dollars in China has been confirmed by insiders. In 2020, a YouTube channel host cited a friend working in a printing factory claiming that the Chinese government had mobilized printing facilities to mass-produce counterfeit U.S. dollars. This act is a quick fix for the imminent foreign exchange reserve crisis. If these counterfeit dollars were to enter the global market through the People's Bank of China for settlement, it could cause significant global disruption. The host further stated that if China were to start a global purchasing spree, it would mean countless countries could be affected. If the United States fails to block this, Europe would inevitably fall, regressing by more than 50 years. Coincidentally, a post on X revealed that the Kushan banknote paper factory in Shanghai has imported large quantities of hemp from Canada, and a group from the Baoding banknote paper mill have been sent to assist the Kushan factory. According to an employee at the Kushan factory, the individuals from Baoding did not speak Mandarin and appear to be North Korean experts in producing U.S. dollars. This employee suspected that the Chinese government intended to print counterfeit U.S. dollars in large quantities. A country's currency is often seen as a measure of its economic health and government stability. This principle was starkly illustrated by Venezuela's crisis. Once known as Little Saudi Arabia for its oil wealth, Venezuela faced an inflation rate exceeding 10,000% in 2018, causing its currency to plummet in value by over 100,000%. Reuters photographer Carlos Garcia Rollins documented the piles of cash required to purchase everyday food and supplies. In Caracas, a 2.4 kilogram chicken cost 14.6 million bolivars and a roll of toilet paper was priced at 2.6 million bolivars. With the economy in freefall, over 90% of the population live below the poverty line with severe shortages of medical and food resources leading to a massive refugee crisis into neighboring Colombia. Given the already strained relations between China and the United States, international media outlets have raised concerns that the Chinese Communist Party, in a bid to stabilize its fragile rule, might resort to underhanded tactics against the United States. The Chinese counterfeit U.S. dollars intercepted by U.S. customs are not believed to be the actions of individual actors, but rather a calculated move by the Chinese government aimed at destabilizing or potentially crashing the U.S. financial system. Therefore, if counterfeit U.S. dollars were to flood the U.S. and other countries, Xi Jinping's statement that Beijing will own the United States within 15 years would no longer be a joke. However, what's more shocking is that the Chinese government has a precedent for waging a currency war with counterfeit money. As early as 1946, with Soviet assistance, a large number of printing presses and paper were transported to areas north of the Songhua River in the communist-occupied Northeast. Counterfeit currencies printed in the Soviet Union using the counterfeit technology of the puppet state Manchukuo were sent to the Kuomintang-controlled areas, causing severe inflation. Yi Zhengying was a chief representative of the Chinese Communist Party in the tripartite negotiations. Starting in the summer of 1947, he cleverly used the special plane provided by the American mediation team to transport bags of counterfeit fiat currency from various locations, including the Northeast Bank and the Great Wall Bank, to Beijing. This massive purchase of civilian goods caused severe inflation in Beijing. Citizens were unaware of the culprits and directed their anger and resentment at the Kuomintang government, leading to a shift in public sentiment and the rise of mass protests and civil war in major cities. Moreover, to quickly undermine the Kuomintang government's control in Shanghai after the peaceful liberation of Beijing, the CCP and underground financial networks exploited the convenient accessibility of civilian air routes between the two cities. They used domestic flights of China Airlines and Air China to flood the Shanghai market with counterfeit currency through underground party organizations, 
causing prices in Shanghai to skyrocket and making life extremely difficult for the residents. The already precarious Kuomintang government thus suffered a fatal blow. The CCP's financial strategy was to disrupt a city's economy with counterfeit money before capturing its core cities, creating a panic atmosphere in the markets of Beijing and Shanghai. When these two major cities' financial markets were thrown into chaos, other major cities followed suit, leading to a nationwide panic. The public, unable to discern the truth, blamed Chiang Kai-shek and his government for the crisis. In 1948, in an effort to address the counterfeit currency problem, and gather support for the war effort, Chiang Kai-shek decided to issue Chinese gold yuan to replace the fiat currency. This currency reform, without the backing of hard currency and ample material reserves, further alienated the Kuomintang government from the people, accelerating the fall of the dynasty. The popular YouTube analyst known as Financial Cold Eye has issued a stark warning. Given the technological capabilities, motivations, and past behavior of the CCP, it is clear that printing counterfeit U.S. dollars has become a strategic measure by the government to navigate the dollar exchange predicament and undermine adversaries. Consequently, one must exercise caution during currency exchanges to avoid inadvertently acquiring fake U.S. dollars. The United States must remain on high alert to prevent the CCP from leveraging counterfeit currency as a tool to destabilize the American financial system. In confronting a foe as unscrupulous as the CCP. Staying vigilant and prepared is essential for safeguarding one's nation.